Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy aka Uzar Jarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. The global 5th anniversary is now less than a week away. I am super excited as I'm sure many of you are as well. Today's video is going to be a continuation of the series of informational videos regarding the 5th anniversary so you guys know what to expect when it goes live. Today I'll be talking about all of the new free to play units we'll be able to grind out during the 5th anniversary. We'll be talking about the events where we'll be able to get these units and their awakening medals and we'll also look at each unit's stats as well. So I'll be going over all of that information here in a minute but first I want to announce for you guys my 5th anniversary giveaway. The physical content that will be going to one lucky winner will be the Ban Presto Dokkan Battle 5th anniversary collaboration 7.1 inch figure of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, as well as a $20 Google Play or Apple gift card, whichever you prefer. So you can buy some Dragon Stones or whatever else you want to do with that. If you look in the top right corner, this is based off of the new LR Dokkan Festival exclusive Gogeta we will be receiving during the 5th anniversary. So really cool there. So to be eligible for this giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Discord chat. I have a link to my Discord chat down in the description below. I have a giveaway channel where I will be holding the giveaway and announcing the winner towards the end of the giveaway period. The period for the giveaway will be from now until July 31st, 2020, towards the end of the 5th anniversary when I will pick one lucky winner to grab all of this awesome stuff. So stay tuned for more information on that. So. Let's go ahead and hop over to the Dokkan Wiki, and we'll look at the first event, these Project Zero Mortals, where we will be able to farm out this Zamasu and his Awakening Medals. So you can just see the card art here for the Zamasu. Now, rem I, one thing I want to let you guys know is all of these units we're talking about today, if you pay attention to the release date of the units through their Dokkan Awakenings, they are different because they will be uh, dropped in phases through the 5th anniversary. So we'll be able to farm them out little by little and awaken them little by little and then Extremesy awaken them as well. So we'll talk about that more in a little bit. But this event has the increased drop rate for time travelers. You can see here the levels where you can get the unit and his awakening medals. So it's similar to the free to play uh, AGL Kid Goku where they basically dropped his unit and then the medals little by little to be able to awaken him to LR. So you can see the missions here, we'll be able to get some extra Dragon Stones for awakening him and unlocking hidden potential and stuff like that. But um, you see here that once we awaken him all the way, we'll be able to get this LR Goku Black, but his name is Zamasu Goku. So we'll be able to put him on teams with Goku Black, so that's really cool. So before his Extremes Awakening, I'll be doing another video about Extremes Awakenings for these units as we get closer to that. But before the Extremes Awakening, he's going to have Time Traveler's Category Key plus 3 HP Attack and Defense plus 77%. His 12 to 17 key Black Power Ball will cause colossal damage to enemy and lower defense. His 18 key Fierce God Slicer will raise defense for one turn and cause mega colossal damage to enemy. And his passive skill is attack and defense plus 50%. Key plus one with each attack received up to five. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 50%. So if you know the LR Int Goku Black that we will be receiving later on in the anniversary uh, through summon banners, he has a similar passive where as he delivers final blows, he will stack his stats. So that's kind of cool there. Um, his categories will be Realm of Gods, Patora, Future Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, Time Travelers, and Inhuman Deeds. So some pretty good categories he's on if you need another unit for that category or another unit for things like Dokkan Battlefield and stuff like that. Really cool stuff there, but if you look at the release date on this guy, you can see, you know, the the uh, 29 January was when they the JP side first received this unit, and then 10 February was when they were actually able to Dokkan Awaken him, and then 21 February was when we're, they were able to Extremes Awaken him, so you can see how they drop it in phases to keep things going during the anniversary, more content for us, if you will. So really cool there. So let's go ahead and hop to the next event, which is going to be Three Saiyans Driven by Fate, where we'll be able to pick up two units. We're going to be able to recruit the SSR AGL Kid Vegeta and the Int Kid Broly, as well as their Awakening Medals. Um, and then the increased drop rate for this will be Pure Saiyans category units. You can see here, uh, level 1 you'll be able to pick up the Broly, level 2 the Vegeta. Level 3 you'll be able to get the exclusive Hidden Potential Orbs for these guys, so they will have the Hidden Potential Orbs similar to the Ginyu Force, the free-to-play Ginyu Force, and the Team Bardock, and I'll be doing a video about fast farming on them later. 
and then you can see level four and five where, we'll be, where we will be able to get the awakening medals and then we will have missions as well where we can get some elder kai's dragon stones and some incredible hourglasses as we get these guys uh awakened and, and stuff like that so really cool stuff there uh, you can see the card art for these units before they get doke on awaken and pay attention again to 29 january 2020 for both of these units and then their Dokkan Awakening will be available 10 February along with their Extreme Z area. So um, again we're just going to talk about the Extreme before Extreme Z Awakened stats here. I really like the card art on both of these units. You can see the Dokkan Awakened Vegeta and Kid Raditz as well but it's paying homage to the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. This one is of course Kid Broly on Planet Vampa with Ba. Um, really awesome stuff, but leader skill is going to be pure Saiyans category, key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, passive skill attack and defense plus 60%, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, and this category is going to be pure Saiyans and youth category. Now make sure you get these guys uh, rainbowed out as, I mean, as much as you can, because when these extremes the awakenings happen, they will be awesome units. So um, let's go ahead and look at the Vegeta here with the Kid Raditz. The leader skill prior to Extreme Z Awakening, of course, is Join Forces Category, Key Plus 2 HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, or Extreme Class, Key Plus 2 HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. Super Attack is going to cause Supreme Damage to Enemy and Lower Attack. Passive Skill Attack and Defense plus 60%, Key Plus 1 plus, an additional Attack and Defense plus 10%, Pure Pure Saiyan, per Pure Saiyan's Category Ally, excluding himself, attacking in the same turn. Category is going to be Pure Saiyan's, Join Forces, Youth, and Terrifying Conquerors. So really cool units that are going to be available. Um, you know, as the anniversary goes on, we'll be able to get the Dokkan Awakenings. But for now, when the anniversary first drops, we'll be able to get the Kid Vegeta, the Kid Broly, and the Zamasu here. So try to get them, uh, basically just get all of the units so you can max out their super attack, get their hidden potential paths unlocked, and be ready for when the next phases drop so you can get these guys awakened and ex uh, extreme z awakened when those are available because these units will be really good to throw on some teams so really awesome stuff really awesome units there but that's that's going to be the units for the fifth anniversary those will be the free to play units really cool stuff really awesome fifth anniversary is like i said it's right around the corner and i am looking forward to that Again, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the Discord chat to make yourself eligible for this 5th anniversary giveaway. Um, and then also hit that bell notification to stay up to date on future content like this and support my channel. Drop a like on the video today if I gave you any useful information. And then comment down below if you have any comments or questions. And look forward to those videos later on where I'll be talking about more on these units as we go through the 5th anniversary. This is always awesome stuff. Fifth anniversary is going to be super hype. Let me know what you guys are most excited for down in the comments below as well. I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video today, and we will catch you on the next one. Signing out.